Good evening, Professor. This is my personal timetable. Here we have five different tasks that I work in each different task in a certain time period. So the first task is urine biosensor research. I already have started the draft paper and I will explain you later the my research roadmap of urine biosensor research. And the second is that we have started for the capacitance measurement in the last week and we found the results but we have to try one more time to check the our results is going finalized or not that's why we are again start in this week with uh, Ryun Sang and Dongmin and also I'm looking for the zeta potential measurement because I at the time of my PhD uh, I did zeta potential measurement to check the particle size and to also to know about the ionic strength with our samples and the second one is review paper today I have submitted you my updated this review article uh, and waiting for your comments and suggestions the third one is a corona biosensor research so so we me and Prashant already started working in this task and and hopefully we will give you the finalized results and some uh, techniques with the with using uh, antibody and antigen and the fourth one is AO biosensor research I have discussed with Bruce about this and we have also uh, some tuning in the our research to measurement of LSPR and in, in this um, week the Bruce will also present the some results of LSPR and uh, as per my understanding the LSPR result is quite good as compared to the previous results and the fifth one is meeting with Jacob and Bruce about their draft paper status as well as also guide them to how to write the paper in terms of biosensors and also how to do the research and how much sample we have to use on the surface like that so uh, this is my the basic and the permanent like uh, guidance to the Bruce and Jacob for his research and uh, also day by day to ask about the status as well so this is the urine PSA biosensor this step that I already told to you uh, this is the basic step that we are followed for the all the measurements either AFM, SEM, FTIR and as well as capacitance measurements so, so this is the FTIR spectra that I already told to you about the FTIR measurement about urine biosensor that we are using two different kind of antibodies uh, which is having uh, very good peaks in a five different manner and also we will consider this results for the final paper and also it's uh, another antibody AB2218 and considering the, the two different kind of antibody we also uh, check the morphological structure of these two antibody and to know the differences between them either our antibody combined with antigen or not that's why we are you characterize the AFM for the morphology study so we have seen that that these two different kind of antibody shows the same characteristics features that the binding towards with the antigen to make a collapse structure on the surface and to collide with the antigen molecules is a very strong bond between the our chip and the graphene and then with the EDC and simultaneously attachment with the antibody and antigen to form a biocomposite and that's why we shows the collapse structure as we have seen that here and the hair and if I ch check in the AB2218 antibody 
so the cluster kind of surface it shows like the antibody is perfectly binding with the antigen that's why we got the cluster structure on the surface in the case of ab2218 antibody these scales are basically 100 nanometer and also the doing the same sample with the treated with the scm so I, I have already told you the, the structure is quite much similar in the case of these two antibody and if we go to the antigen molecules also we got the same kind of bonding between the antibody and antigen on the surface. So this is the cross sectional sample. Uh, in why we are doing this cross sections uh, of the sample characterization because we have to check the layer of PTTI metal it shows the, the uh, reusability factor because as we have mentioned in the earlier uh, research that our chip is basically five time or six time using after each reaction so we have to check like is there any difference in the metal layer in the PTTI metal layer so we have to compare with the bare surface so uh, as we have seen the bare surface already have shows the 85 nanometer and 125 nanometer so if we go with the antibodies uh, also we have a, we have seen that the uh, platinum platinum layer it quite much thin as compared to the bare because we have because we have already put the EDC graphene and NHS and 1H12 antibody that's why the platinum layer is quite thin as compared to the bare surface and also also this is the same is uh, with the antigen so with the antigen in a two different kind of antibody so as we have seen that in the bare surface 85 nanometer but in this case we got 81 nanometer titanium and platinum is 97 nanometer and the AB2218 case we got the platinum layer is 83 and 109 nm is a titanium layer so as I have discussed with the Dr. Daniel, he said the platinum is titanium layer is approx 0.2 micrometer. So it means that if we um, add addition of these two numbers, then it quite much similar of the exact layer number, exact uh, th thickness of the layer that at the time of making of the dead chip. So it it defines it signifies that the our chip is basically we have to use three to four times after each reaction it shows the reusability of our surface or usability in this research so we have to defend our method defend our sentence with by using this kind of pictures that's we are doing the cross-sectional view to implement our reusability factor reusability factor are also doing the same kind of measurement or with the samples like water contact angle measurement our substrate is d5 so we have to check first with the water what is the exact angle of young's module angle is 82.82 so uh, considering the water angle we go with the graphene so it's quite much lower angle is 80.4 and then we go with the single EDC NHS sample and the fourth one is the fourth one is basically the combination of graphene and EDC to show there is any changes or not so we got the changes and the angle is 77.5 so it means the graphene layer is 80.4 80 and the EDC 75.4 so it's uh, equivalence number is 77.5 so after the addition of 1H12 antibody and antigen then we got 61.2 and the, in the case of AB2218 with antigen is 69.0 Sir I am focusing, I am, I'm, it's my, 
understanding is my opinion like if we are doing the zeta potential measurement then we uh, then we uh, then we measure the particle size why we are why we are doing this because we use graphene oxide so graphene oxide already have a particle so the particle size we have to measure the particle size because the graphene for example graphene is already have some exam particle size and then we have to treat it with the edc then we have to treat it with the antibody and antigen so that's why we have to check the particle size is there any difference or is there any changes if we mix with the edc mix with the antibody mix with the antigen so we have to also mention in our paper yes we have to change we have we have got the changes if we mix with the different kind of samples to make a biocomposite and that's why it's my personal thinking to go with the zeta potential measurement to know about the particle size conductivity ionic strength as well as the different kind of concentration if we use different kind of concentration for example if we check in a five different kind of concentration of antigen so the we have to convert our result in a five different kind of manner yes because in a different kind of concentration we have to clarify that the concentration is also emphasize our results because the the sample concentration is a measurement by the zeta potential and it's uh, it's a very obvious thing to evaluate the charge stability of a dispersed system so that's why is my concern to go with the zeta potential measurement and i talked with the ryun sang and the dong min to search this instrument in any institute so we go with the samples and to measure the zeta potential measurement so this is my research road map for writing papers uh, as i have told you before i have already started the urine psa biosensor draft paper so capacitance measurement i did in the last week but we got some result but uh, in the in the, in this week i have to repeat it again to more clarify that our result is stable or like uh, or not that's why we have to do it again in this week and then i will uh, show you the results in the of the capacitance measurement and then we have to uh implement that result in our paper and the title abstract and submitted figure is a submitted figure is completed up to this by today and then introduction will be finished near about 7th july and the discussion is will be 12th july and the data optimization and the final setup is a kind of final draft i will submit it to you uh, on 17th july so so this is my urine psa biosensor that i already currently i am doing it on it and the second one is review article uh today i am i have sent you the review article updated review article updated with the updated figures and also um, uh, update update the references and waiting for your comments so then after your comments i will implement on it and to uh to make a final draft and then we have to submit on the sensor mdpi journal so this is the corona bio research uh, it's a basic step that we are following and there are some changes on this step so basically we have to just change the antibody and antigen step other one the same step that we are following also in the urine biosensor research so this is the ao biosensor research that uh, me and bruce discussed together like how to do the lspr measurement because in the previous days we didn't get any positive results but as per my understanding i i guided him and to make a kind of uh, uh, samples to check the, to check in the lspr then hopefully we will 
show you the results and last week Bruce told me about the some results and we got a better results than the previous one so this is my paper writing plan of urine PSA biosensor that I already told to you there in the, my research roadmap that we are focusing on the particular day to complete the various steps and then on 17th of July I will give you I will submit it to you for your comments and suggestions in as per my understanding sir uh, I will focusing only two journals first is a biosensor and bioelectronics and advanced sciences is uh, belong from the Wiley, com Wiley Scrivener publishing company is a 15.2 I impact factor that's all sir thank you